Russian war blogger Wargonzo, in his early updated notes, serious problems for the Russians on the Robotine front. Ukrainian armed forces once again switched on to the offensive. Ukrainians managed to reach outskirts of Novoprokopivka and got close to Verbov, actually much closer than he states, and improved positions on the flanks of Novofedorivka. There is powerful artillery support on the Ukrainian side. Russians are experienced problems in Kopani, Ilchenkove, and Novoprokopivka, he added. And in the same tone, Russian propagandist Marden states, the front line is in Kursk and Bryansk regions. Sevastopol is a frontline city. You want war? You will get war, he threatens. This clown didn't notice that Russia is attacking Ukraine with everything they got for almost two years now? Извините, меня проходят в Брянской Курской области. Когда Севастополь вдруг стал прифронтовым городом, любые разговоры про мирные переговоры имеют совершенно обратный эффект тому, что хотел бы, наверное, услышать, увидеть, получить человек, который вот эти фразы произносит. Я очень надеюсь, что вот эта риторика уйдет из нашей жизни. Сказано. Практически на самом высшем уровне. Вы хотите войну, вы получите войну. Наконец-то. A Russian 2S9 Nona S 120mm self-propelled mortar was destroyed by a FPV loitering munition of the Ukrainian 72nd Mechanized Brigade in Donetsk Oblast. Again, we can see a powerful ammo detonation, common with this type of vehicle. Zaporizhia Oblast, a Ukrainian Bergepanzer III ARV, pulls out a stuck Leopard 2A4 before the Leopard drives off under its own power. Okay, where do I need to put that thing? said this Ukrainian Cossack. And we have another video from Mali, where the Tuareg tribes have declared war on the Wagner PMC and are starting a safari against them. Reportedly, the Wagnerites more than once showed their cruelty towards the local population. They used excessive violence, killed, cut off their heads. Russia intends to mount a coup d'etat in Armenia. How do I know? Because they sent Patty Lancaster there to do the info shaping. And the brutal arrests continue. Uh, 
on going and on going. We don't see exactly what the protesters are doing that's so long. They're not blocking the streets. I'm not sure exactly why they're being arrested. They're standing. The Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense claims that Armenian residents are massively burning residential buildings in Agder, Nagorno-Karabakh. This is happening after Armenia finally lost the area to Azerbaijani forces. Besides the fact that Armenia is a part of a collective security organization with Russia and Russian peacekeepers on the ground. This is short, but perfect. By U.S. giving Ukraine 5% of the U.S. military budget, Ukraine destroyed 50% of the Russian military. When America arms Ukraine, we get a lot for a little. Putin is an enemy of America. We've used 5% of our defense budget to arm Ukraine, and with it, they've destroyed 50% of Putin's army. We've done all this by sending weapons from storage, not our troops. The more Ukraine weakens Russia, the more it also weakens Russia's closest ally, China. America needs to stand strong against our enemies. That's why Republicans in Congress must continue to support Ukraine. For the end, Falcon 9's first stage has landed on the drone ship, the second booster in the U.S. fleet with 17 launches and landings. And for the end, something different. People patiently wait in long queues for hours to buy the latest iPhone 15. Everything is said here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.